Hello friends! Welcome to our April Circle Time. Today we will be focusing on subitizing and spring. Our first activity is about subitizing. I see a lot of flowers around here and I want to know how many petals they have. Are you ready to help me? Let's start. Whoop, there's one right here. Were you able to see how many petals it had? I think it had five. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Five petals. There's another one right here. Were you able to see how many petals it had? Let's count together. I think I saw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Whoop. There's another one right here. Were you able to see? How many petals did you see? I think I saw eight. Eight petals. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, my friends. And now we're going to sing a song. And it's very, very, very exciting to me because I really like the rain. And this song is about the rain. It's called Itsy Bitsy Spider. And I like to sing it in English and Spanish. So let's start. Itsy bitsy araña tejió su telaraña. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y el agua se secó. Itsy bitsy araña volvió a tejer su telaraña. Yay! Good job, friends. Now, do you want to help me sing it in English? Perfect. Itsy bitsy spider went out the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! And now that we're talking about rain, I think it's going to rain and I see a lot of water splashing. Uh, Gladys, be careful. There's a lot of water coming your way. <gasps> Whoa, do you see all these flowers? <gasps> Look at all these flowers growing. Wow, Mr. Pablo. Oh my goodness, I love plants and I love flowers. So this is a special tree. I think I see something that has to do with our next activity. Friends, do you see a grasshopper in one of these flowers? Hmm. You do? I see one too. It's right there. <gasps> Well, friends, our next activity is a movement activity. So I need you all to get up and hop with me like a grasshopper. Ready? Let's count to 10 with our hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, 10 hops. Good job, friends. Hmm. Let's look around and see if we see any more insects. Hmm, I see a bee land on this plant. Do you all see him? Can we all buzz like a bee? Let's count to five while we buzz like a bee. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, friends. 
friends. Look at all my busy, buzzing bees. Do we see any other bugs? I see a caterpillar. Do you all see a caterpillar? I see a caterpillar land on this plant. Can we all sway like a caterpillar? I'm gonna do it standing up, but maybe you all can lay down and sway like a caterpillar. Let's count to seven while we sway like a caterpillar. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, what amazing sways I see, my friends. Hmm, any more bugs that we can find? Change your point of view to see if we can see any more bugs. I see a beautiful butterfly land on this plant right here. Can you all flutter like a butterfly with me? Flutter, flutter, flutter like a butterfly. Flutter, flutter, flutter like a butterfly. Now let's count to three while we flutter like a butterfly. Flutter, 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 one. Flutter, 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 two. Flutter, 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 three. Three flutters from our beautiful butterfly. Well, friends, thank you so much for joining me for our movement activity. If you can think of any more animals that you want to move like or any more insects, I welcome you to move your bodies, to count, to explore, and to remember that math is all around us, even in our bodies. Now we'll go ahead and move on to our next activity. Well, friends, let's move into our story. Today we're going to be reading The Hike by Allison Farrell. I love going on hikes and seeing so much beautiful nature. I wonder what we'll see in this story. Yoo-hoo! Almost ready? Just one more cut. Just one more feather. Here's a three sisters garden. A three sisters garden is actually when you plant some beans, some squash, and some corn all together, and they help each other grow and stay healthy. We're going on a hike. This is Wren, L, Patty, and Bean. There's a mountain chickadee, a bumblebee, and some lupine, and a stellar jay's feather. It's our favorite thing to do. Here are some owlets. Here is a deer fern. This is a stellar jay. Some fairy ring mushrooms. And a porcupine quill. Whoa. Hey, wait for me. Here is a squirrel's nest. Do you all see it? And a swarm of bees. And an old man's beard, which is actually a plant. In the beginning, we run like maniacs. There's a flock of birds up ahead. Until a ripe patch of thimbleberries slows us down. Wow, so many berries. If we see some berries, we gotta ask our adults if they're safe to eat. Here is a Douglas fir's bow and a western toad. So many animals that I've never seen before. Elle teaches us how to make leaf baskets. Oh, how smart. They're making leaf baskets to hold their berries. Very creative. Like this, Elle. Yep, just like that. We may have eaten too many berries. If, is that possible? Is it possible to eat too many berries? I think so. Here's a pleated woodpecker. I thought we were saving some for later. 
Here you can see that there are some berries in their basket. Arf, arf! Bean is barking at a turkey tail mushroom. The hike gets steep and the trail narrows. Here is a hollow tree. That is such a great spot for hide and seek. And here is a porcupine climbing up the tree. That's a big porcupine. Boo! Ah! Hattie, how'd you get up there so fast? We get lost. Hmm. Which way is north? Pretty sure we were not supposed to cross this river yet. Uh-oh. Did we go left right after the berry patch? I think we went right. What's another word for blue? Azure, cerulean, cobalt. And here's Ren's sketchbook of all the birds that they've seen. And here we see a sign of a beaver. Whoa. We're halfway there. In no time, we get back on track. Who made these? Do you see these tracks? I wonder what animal made them. A deer walks past and Bean sneezes. Achoo! The deer vanishes so quickly, we wonder if it was ever really there. A light ring comes and goes. The birds are happy. We listen to them chirp and chatter in the trees. This is the river we were looking for, right Hattie? Wren's sketchbook includes some birds. I see a, a hummingbird called Anna's hummingbird, a bird called mountain chickadee, and a mountain bluebird. And if you look closer, you can see Anna's hummingbird right here. Hattie gets tired. Elle offers to carry her. We can't hear you. I said 30 minutes to the top. Here's a plunge waterfall. There's a raven. And here are some horsetail. Soon, Elle is tired too. I can't do this much longer. Whoa, there's one, two, three friends. That's a lot of friends to be carried. Giddy up. Rides over everyone. Burr, it's getting chilly. At the top, Ren takes out her flag. Elle reads her poem and Hattie releases feathers into the wind. Whoa, what a beautiful sight. There's all those feathers that Hattie was collecting at the beginning of the story. We did it. We reached the top. You always get to relax at the top of a hike. I need to take a breather. And down we go. There's beautiful flowers. A beautiful sunset or sunrise if you're up early. And I see some trees and some constellations when you look up at the stars. Here's Taurus, Orion, Lepus, Gemini, Auriga, Perseus, and Pegasus. So many stars. And here are some notes from Ren's sketchbook. Let's see what they learned. Uh, she saw some bared owlets. She said they sound like, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Is that how they sound? I don't think so. Here's some dead trees. This woodpecker is, is eating a juicy carpenter plant. Whoa. And here it says, I'm a fruit. 
And that is actually a banana slug. Do we eat banana slugs? I don't. A banana slug is the second largest slug in the world. Whoa, that must be pretty big. I guess a horsetail is like a living fossil. Wow. And some thimbleberries that are very delicate for packing. So you actually probably won't see them at grocery stores because they're too delicate. I wonder if we'll ever get to try some. Here's some cirrus clouds, AKA mare's tail, which is a type of plant. They look like clouds to me. The end. That was such a great book. I learned so much about different animals, different insects, and different plants. I would love to read this book again and inspect it more closely. If you're ever curious, I'm sure you can go ahead and Google the hike and YouTube video might come up. Well, friends, it's now time to move on to Mr. Jermel. And Mr. Jermel, is it raining where you are? I think it's raining over here. Oh, my goodness. Hi, my friends. Yes, Miss Gladys, it's raining here too. I guess what they say is true. April showers bring May flowers. I guess, I guess mine haven't grown yet. <laughs> oh my goodness, my friends, it's so good to see you for this April circle time. And as you know, we're talking about Suhubatizing. Can you say that? Subatizing? <laughs> My friends told us about it earlier, but I want to tell you a little bit more about it. Subatizing. Can you say subatizing? <gasps> I'm a subatizer because I subatize. Do do do. I know. Very cool, huh? Oh my goodness, my friends. We're gonna do some subitizing, okay? And I am going to show you some numbers or actually I'm gonna show you some raindrops that are gonna fall and we're gonna see if you can tell me how many raindrops there are, but you're not gonna be able to count them. I know, right? You're not gonna be able to count them, but you're gonna have to tell me how many there are. Just off the top of your head. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, my friends, we're gonna use our umbrella. Whoa, my friends, are you ready? Okay, we're gonna throw some raindrops under our umbrella. Let's see how many raindrops we have. Whoa, one, two, three. Oh, oh. how many raindrops are they? Oh my goodness, my friends, you, let's try it again. One, two, three. How many raindrops do you see? Oh, you said four? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, you all are right. Okay, let's see again. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness, you said you see five? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, there was five raindrops. Let's try it one more time. This wind is getting out of control. Let's try. Oh, how many do you see? Oh my goodness, one, two, three. Oh. You said six? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness, my friends, six. You all are so smart. You all are subatizers. I'm a subatizer because I subatize. Woo! Now, my friends, I have to go. All of us have to go. It's time for us to get our day started. But we love getting our day started with you all with our circle times. Now, I am going to sing you a song. A goodbye song. How about that? Are you ready? Adios, hasta luego, a mis amigos. Goodbye, so long to you, my friends. 
Adiós por ahora. Hasta la próxima vez. Goodbye, Goodbye for now. now. Until, until we meet again. again.